Anytime you've got to build a list of uh, HTML list items or even HTML tables, uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, OpenOffice uh, can be really useful. So let's take an example from a project we're working on. This is some HTML for a table uh, that we are using on a client's website. And if you take a look at a table, basically it's just groups of list items, right? So there's a row, and then between each row um, there are columns, and those columns are basically list items. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of all the row markers, because those are easy to back in. We're just rows of five columns, so I'll go through and remove all of those, and I'll go ahead and get rid of the uh, closing rows as well. Okay, and then I will go ahead and get rid of this uh, blank space. Obviously, I've got a copy that I'm working from, so the copy I'm working from will have uh, all of the um, table uh, attributes. That table has an ID on it. We need that ID uh, to make sure everything is styled correctly. So I'll go ahead and select all and strip out any blank lines, and then I'll also... Um, get rid of those indentations. Uh, so we're going to untabify. Control Shift S. For some reason, neither one of those com those those uh, commands worked. So go figure. Anyway, it only takes a second to get rid of these. Let me go ahead and clean it up. Okay, cool. So I've gotten rid of uh, all of the tabs and all of the blank lines. So every line has a column and then some uh, HTML and then the closed column. So I actually don't want these open and closed columns either. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of those. So all we're left with is an image, a link, an image link and then a text link. And I want to separate the image link and the text link into two different columns. I actually don't need to, but I think it would be nice to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the span. So this is the start of, of the text link starts with this span. So I'm going to go ahead and look for this, and I'm going to replace it with a semicolon just before the span. That way there's a semicolon between the image link and the text link. And then I'm going to take this whole thing and import it into... Open Office, uh, whatever this is called, Open Office Spreadsheet, Open Office Calc. So I'm going to do an unforded, unformatted paste with columns separated by a semicolon. That way we have two columns, right? We have one column with the image link and another column with the text link. And then I'll go ahead and auto size these so that this is easy to see. And you'll see really easily here we've got a link to uh, the client site, an image tag, and then the close of that link, and then a link to the client site text link, and then the close of that link, and then a span that goes around that as well. So now I can go through and sort all of this and see here's one that's broken, right? One that didn't work correctly for reasons that aren't clear. So we have to go through and check. Probably got rid of a, didn't get rid of a, uh, a space somewhere correctly, but now it looks okay. So now I could go through and sort these by uh, alpha, sort these alphabetically. I could further go through and break these into columns if I really wanted to, so that I could sort everything. So let's just do that, just for sake of example. Let's go ahead and break the span into its own set of columns. So where I want to put the the break is here, where the text description actually starts. So at the end of the um, end of every link we have a forward slash, a quote, and an open bracket or close bracket I guess. So I'm going to look for all of those. I'm going to put all of those back plus I'm going to add a semicolon. Okay, so I'm going to replace all of those. But then I also want to have this slash a slash span out. So I'm going to look for this slash a and I'm just going to do a find and replace on that as well. Replace all of those with the semicolon in front. Oops replace all. Okay, so now I'm going to have basically a column here with just the text. So control A, control C. Okay, we're going to delete this row. 
so that we don't make any mistakes. And then we're going to do a control shift V again here. Unformatted text, we're going to tell the spreadsheet program to look for a semicolon. And now, if you look, we've got span, the link, the link text in a separate column, and then the end, uh, the rest of the HTML we need here. So I'll go ahead and select all. I'll just fix the column width manually. This looks like it's probably six. Cool. All right, so now I need some, you know, headings. Obviously, I'd probably want to put some headings on all of this. Um, I might want to break this out a little further, depending upon, you know, what what tasks need to be done. Maybe I want to break all those images into uh, their own columns as well. Uh, that might save me a time. And then when it's time to put it all back together, I'm just going to use the concatenate function. Okay, so I'm going to put a TD. And then I'm going to put the first column. And then I'm going to put the second column. And then I'm going to put the anchor text. Then I'm going to put the third column. Then I'm going to put a closing TD. Oops. And I'm going to format things correctly. Okay, so. This is just one, right? It's a column, there's a link, etc. But now if I need to reorder these, if I need to add to these, if I want to change something in all of these, it's really easy for me to do. And that took a grand total of about oh, seven minutes or so. So anyway, that's how I would do this.